Hey guys, hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to Mark's Stock Review. This video is going to be on Candy Technologies. I'll be talking about why Candy Technologies is more than just an EV company. I'll talk about the share price swings and whether it's a good time to buy. I hope you find the video helpful. If you do, please consider subscribing and hitting the thumbs up and bell notifications. I'd greatly appreciate it. That said, let's get right into it. I don't currently own Candy Technologies. This is my entire brokerage account at the moment. Feel free to pause the video and take a look. Candy Technologies is more than just an EV company, and I think that's one of the reasons why it's been doing so well lately. Some of you may not know that Candy has a battery swap business called the China Battery Exchange Technology Company. It's supported by China's national policy to promote vehicle battery separation for electric vehicles. It's got an upcoming IPO. The spinoff is set to debut on the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Three main reasons why they're listing the subsidiary as an IPO. Number one, to unlock and realize the value for Candy shareholders for the emerging business as quoted by the CEO. Number two, it's going to be easier for Candy to monetize their several patents in the field of battery swap systems. And number three, it's going to be a way for Candy to attract new investors to become involved in their wholly vertically integrated value chain, including their used battery recycling. You also may not know that Candy has a ride sharing program. They've already begun delivering thousands of vehicles for this program to China cities and provinces. This program is designed to drive production and sales of their EV parts and battery swap equipment to ultimately restore the growth in their pure EV business. And all the EVs will include the battery swap feature. Candy also does EV parts. They're involved in research and development, manufacturing and sales of various vehicle parts, which provides vertical integration and more in-house revenue. And that leads us to Candy America. It does get a little confusing. So we got SC Autosports, which is a United States subsidiary of Candy Technologies that does their business under the name of Candy America, headquartered in Texas. And the whole purpose of Candy America is the wholesale of off-road vehicle products, which you can see here on the left and the bottom, and eventually the distribution of the EVs K27 and K23. So is this a good time to buy Candy? For me, the simple answer is yes. Just depends on how to enter or add to your position. For me, I do not have a position yet, so I'm going to wait for a negative headline to get in. However, note that the share price is up another 16% at the time of this recording. So right now, it looks like that may take a while. This is what happened after the last negative headline. Shares plunged after a direct offering was announced. This would have been a great time for me to initiate a position. Unfortunately, it didn't come across my radar as I was working on a workhorse video, but I should have bought this for two reasons. Reason number one, these offerings are not a surprise as they're still losing money, as you can see on this earnings report. And number two, look how the off-road vehicle sales are increased by almost 52%. That tells me they are growing in the more lucrative areas. And now we have Candy surging on the news that the K23 and K25 received approval from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality for a $2,500 rebate. Combined with the federal tax credit of $7,500, consumers can now get a candy car for less than $8,000. All of a sudden, that design of the car isn't looking so bad. One thing just to make a note of, the Texas rebates are limited to 2,000 applicants, and the federal rebates will fade over time. However, I am still bullish because candy doesn't need these policies to survive long term. Okay, final take. In my opinion, Candy's cars are going to be great for the money despite the design issues. It's going to be one of USA's most affordable EVs, and I'm sure after the feedback, their next model is going to be much improved with their design. Number two, Candy has a wide variety of automotive products and services with vertical integration, which allows more in house revenue and a means of attracting new investors. And lastly, Candy is still relatively undiscovered from my point of view. So there should be plenty of time to find great opportunities to either initiate or add more shares at good entry points. 
That does it for candy. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell notifications and thumbs up. Let me know what you think of candy in the comment section below. Have a great rest of your day and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care.